scripture from Sister Fat Erie Clark. Yes, God. God. Hallelujah. Bless God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord, everybody. Praise God. Can you magnify the Lord, everybody, and those who are the magnify the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. This morning's scripture will be taken from Psalm 121. Praise God. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor no sleep. Rest. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon yes, thy right yes, hand. Yes. The sun shall not smite thee by day, mm. nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Jesus. Eight and last. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. This is a portion of God's holy word. Thank you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless God. My soul does magnify the Lord.
from who will be ministering the word of the Lord Jesus. In our devotion last night, I was saying to him, may the Lord bless you to give a word. And this word is not just for the saints of the Restoration Center, but I said to him, it's a word for the world because we have persons from all over who are doing. And so today, be blessed by the word of the Lord Jesus. We can have to give a word you are. And may God come and give you the pastor of this church.
something really came to my mind, praise God, in that if the Lord will permit, praise God, that all of this should subside and we have a bit of normalcy returned, praise God, it, it, it was coming to me that there are times when a woman or a man never really appreciate the one who they have until that individual threatens to leave, praise God. And sometimes when they threaten to leave, praise God, the individual who gets the threat don't realize and understand until the person actually leaves and they're not able to see them anymore. They understand what they have. Praise God, I'm going somewhere. And so there are many persons who took being at church for an hour. All right, all right, somebody miss that. Some who took being at church even for an hour, I pray that those who come back will come back with a renewed zeal. Praise God. Fire for the Lord. And understand that being in church for two hours, praise God, or two and a half hours, is a privilege because at any point in time, it can be ripped from us. Somebody say amen. I want to just speak to you in brief today. Praise God from the word of God coming to us from the book of Daniel. Praise God. Daniel chapter number 2. Daniel chapter number 2 and I want to read a few verses from Daniel chapter number 2 and praise God. I believe that the Lord has a word for somebody in time. Amen. I was saying that last week, I believe it was that Divine Miss Mary, when she came on, she set me up, and this week, I believe, she again set me up once more. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. But we know that the Lord is in control. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And the book of Daniel, chapter number uh, 2, and we're going to be reading from 31 and skipping a few verses, but I'll tell you where. And the book of Daniel, praise God, is somehow intertwined with the book of Revelation. And those who study prophecy understand that these two books are very similar because they speak about the end times and the signs of the times that should take place, understanding that the end will not just come, but the end is a process. The end is a series of things that should happen. Praise God. It was Jesus who said to his disciples that when you see these things begin to happen, in other words, there is a process of things, a series of things that must take place before the end come. I know there are many persons right now that are in their houses and truth be told, you may be a Christian but you are in despair. You may be saved but you are in fear. You may be saved but you feel completely desolate, praise God. But in order for us to get out of that spirit that we have to turn to the word of God. Somebody say amen. We understand that the prophets of today, sometimes you can't find none of them. Am I talking to the church? Praise God. Sometimes you can't find any of the healers. But there's one thing that remains ever faithful and ever sure. And that is the word of Almighty God. Somebody put your hands together from here. The book of Daniel chapter number 2 and reading from 31. It says, Thou, O King, sawest and behold. And this is speaking of a vision that Nebuchadnezzar had or a dream that he had while he was on his bed and it amazes me as I looked in this because uh, you can understand somebody coming to you and explaining to you that they had a dream and asked you to tell them what it means. Now hearing the dream you can try to figure out based on the signs and symbols of the dream to explain to someone what it means but, but, but Nebuchadnezzar took it a step further because he had a dream but he got up from his bed and he did not remember what he dreamt and this is what Nebuchadnezzar said. He said I want somebody who can interpret the dream but to take it a step further. I don't remember the dream 
I am worth somebody to tell me that which I should prevent somebody. And so Daniel, praise God, under the threat, praise God, of losing his life, praise God, losing his friends. Daniel said that there is a God among the Hebrews, and he said, still the king just a bit, and Daniel prayed with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Oh, God, it's good to have some prayer partners. Am I talking to the church? It's good to have somebody to pray with you in times of distress. And so we arrive in verse 21, and it says, Thou king, praise God, saw us and behold a great image, this great image, whose brightness was excellent and stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible, praise God. This image's head was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass, his legs of iron, his feet, praise God, part of iron and part of clay. Thou sawest, praise God, till a stone was cut. Everybody say a stone. Mm -hmm. A stone was cut out without hands, which smote, praise God, the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay, and broke them to pieces. Then was the iron and the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken, praise God, to pieces together, and became like a shaft of the summer threshing floors. And the wind carried them away, that the place was found, was found no more. And the stone, praise God, that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Let's go to verse 44. And in those days, somebody say those days. These kings shall the God of heaven set up, praise God, a kingdom. Everybody say kingdom. kingdom. Which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left, praise God, to other people. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. And it shall stand forever. Praise God. Hold somebody's hand and those that are in your houses, if you're at your workplace and you're able to, praise God, well, don't hold the hand, praise God, but keep the safe distances. But I want everybody right now just to join together, praise God, in your minds, and let us be one mind and one spirit as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor you today. We glorify the Holy God, knowing that you are God and there is none else. In times of trouble, you are God. In times, God of peace, you're still God. And so we look to you today, Father, asking you to take over control of all that should be said and done. We have already felt your anointing in this place. We ask God that your anointing will be felt even as words go forth. That somebody that's watching, somebody that's listening, God, will receive the word. Oh, God, we pray even now as somebody is watching that they will be filled with the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues, praise God. Or while we ask you knowing that there's nothing that is impossible for you. And we say thanks in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Very enthusiastically, I want you just to say to somebody, spoiler alert. Yes, I know how this ends. Yes, for those who are online, it's very simple. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I know how this ends. Know how Praise God, you may be seated. And to those that are young, you would have known what the theme, Praise God, means. But to those who are on the a bit elder side, then I will have to take some time to explain it to you. Praise God. Have you ever been, praise God, with somebody who has watched the movie already? Praise God. And because that person watched the movies already, they feel it is their right to tell you everything that is in the movie.
movie, but you have not watched it, praise God. And so we understand that on the internet when they are reviewing things, they say to you, if you have not seen this, then we are putting up a spoiler alert. In other words, we are going to spoil whatever is in the movie because we are going to talk from the beginning to the end. So if you don't want to be spoiled, then do not watch this review because we are going to tell you, praise God, the beginning and the end. Am I talking to the church? And so today I want to put up a spoiler alert and tell somebody I know how this ends. Am I talking to the church? And so we have to understand that as we are in the spirit, it was Paul who made mention that we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but that many times we focus so much on looking at the spiritual warfare, not understanding that the spirits use physical beings. Am I talking to the church? We understand that God wants man to worship him, but it is man who the Spirit of God that uses them to bring glory to him. And it is the same for the kingdom of darkness, which is that the enemy uses man in order to dishonor and to discredit the kingdom of God. We have to understand who man is and understand that man is not a little fly on the wall, but man was made in the image and the likeness of God. As we go back into the Garden of Eden and we understand who Adam was, Adam was made with the power of God. The Bible told us that God breathed into man and man became a living soul. The Bible calls us to understand that it was Adam who the Lord brought all the animals to and Adam having a part of God in him he named all the animals and whatever name Adam gave to them that's what they were named. And you know the story that man made a conscious decision to discredit God or to go against the command of God by eating of the tree that God told him that the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that you shall eat of every tree but this one just leave it alone. I want to submit to somebody that I don't know that maybe God had it in his mind that there was an appointed time where he would cause Adam to eat of that tree. But God told him, don't eat. Because you understand that man, though he was in God, and though he had knowledge, he was still in innocence. Because Adam didn't even know that he was naked. Am I talking to the church? It was after he ate from the tree that, that he realized that he was naked. That, but there's something that we need to observe. That, because after the sin, that, the Lord said, listen, that, man now has that, the knowledge of good and evil. That, and because man now has the knowledge of good that, and of evil, that, the Lord said we have to drive it out that, of the God of Eden. That, if he eats from the tree of life, then he will become immortal. He will live forever. Can you imagine a man being able to live forever and being able to do evil continually? So the Bible said God drove him out of the garden. But then we see where Adam, he produced two sons, one by the name of Cain and one by the name of Abel. And we understand that the Bible said that, that within Cain, Cain developed a grudge, what we call in a Jamaica bad mind. And it was Cain who slew his brother Abel. Am I talking to the church? We are talking about the son of Adam. But he found it in himself to take his own brother's life. And so the Bible tells us that God cursed Cain and told him Cain, as long as the earth remains, you're going to be a vagabond. You're going to go up and down the earth. And the earth is not going to 
yield to you. If you plant anything, it will not grow. Cain said, my burden is too much. Can you imagine? He just murder in one burden. But then as you receive, he's just your heart. He said it too much. But what amazes me, Lord, as evil as Cain was, even though Cain was evil and cursed, the Bible said Cain, can I talk about man for a bit? The Bible said Cain, he went and built a city. Can I talk to somebody? We are talking about a cursed man who went and built a city. And from Cain, the Bible said he had descendants. And one of his descendants was by the name of Jobal. And Jobal, he was the greatest farmer that ever lived. Can I talk to somebody? He was evil, being a son or a descendant of Cain. But he was a father of all who do livestock, to all who are prophets from farming to me. He was the father of all those who did livestock. And I talk to the church. He had a brother by the name of Jubal. Can I talk to somebody? And Jubal was the father of all musical instruments. He was the father of music. Can I talk to somebody? We are talking about a first man and his descendants. But yet, his descendants, one of them became the father of music. He had a brother by the name of Tobal Cain. And Tobal was a father of all weapons. He was the one that made bows and arrows. He was the one that made spears, daggers, and swords. Am I talking to the church? So we have the livestock. It means a money I make. And we have music. It means a man can dance. Can I talk to the church? And so we have weapons. It means a man can war. And so it is these men that let the earth at this point in time to the point where the Bible said that all the earth became corrupted. Can I talk to somebody before the Lord? Jesus said that in the days of Noah they were eating. Am I talking to the church? They were drinking. They were marrying and giving into marriage. Everybody that enjoyed themselves because as evil as these men were, they were crafty. They had intellect. They had intelligence. It seems that the more technologically advanced we get, is the more we tend to draw from God. It seems the more intellectually capable we get, is the more we use the knowledge to fight against God. Can I talk to the church? The Bible said the entire earth was corrupted before God. But amidst all the earth being corrupted, the word said, but Noah. Everybody said, but Noah. But Noah. Don't in the sight of the Lord. Can I tell somebody that amidst all that's happening in the world, there is still a remnant. There is still a set of people. Can I talk to the church? It moved further. The earth was destroyed, flooded by water, and new beginning came again. But still, was able to find evil and do evil. The Bible said that there was a man, a descendant of pain, by the name of Nimrod. Can I talk to the church? It was Nimrod. Being an evil king, he established the first kingdom in the earth. Am I talking to the church? We need to understand 
that is from Nimrod, the whole earth learned perversion, the whole earth learned how to worship a false god. It was from Nimrod that the whole earth was programmed into doing evil. Can I talk to the church? It is felt even today. Nimrod's control is still felt in the earth. You see it on the television. The television tells you how to dress, tells you how to walk, tells you how to talk. Can I talk to the church? We live in a world where we have a mother and a father who would look at a child and say the child can decide whatever sex or gender they want to be. Can I talk to the church of the year? A boy is born a boy. Biologically, they're made up with the DNA that God gave them. But we have perverted people who said you can choose what gender. Can I talk to somebody? I need to be careful. Understand 
uh, that are part of the cameraman uh, and the editors. Uh, before you can have a movie, uh, you've got to have uh, a script. Uh, gotta talk to the church. Uh, somebody uh, who writes the narrative uh, of the story. Uh, and apart from that, uh, we've got to have uh, a director. Uh, gotta talk to the church. Uh, apart from the director, uh, we've got to have a star. Uh, gotta talk to somebody. Uh, apart from the star. We've got to have some extras. Can I talk to somebody? But we all saw a movie. We've got to have a villain. Can I talk to the church? In other words, we need to know the black man. Can I talk to somebody? And now, I often told people, I don't watch dramas. I don't watch them. And the reason why the guy is small is because nine out of ten a drama is gonna end with somebody who you love dying. Can I talk to the church? Nine out of ten times a drama might end with a star dying. Can I talk to the church? I can know we Jamaicans after you spend nearly two hours investing a story to go watch and see a star dead. We Jamaicans say, I need a show that. I'm 
Babylonians ruled, the Egyptians ruled, the Assyrians ruled. I am talking to the church. We've seen through history where the Greeks, the Romans, praise God, the Ottoman Empire, they have all at some point in time ruled the earth and became a world power. We see now in our time that America, can I talk to the church, is known as the world power. Can I talk to the church? This image the Bible said, its brightness was seen that our God for all the earth. And Daniel said the brightness was so terrible. It means that the reach of the image is able to be seen everywhere. Can I talk to the church? We all don't understand. Because some of us read Bible. But I want to tell somebody, it better you look up Daniel and lack of revelation. Because I cannot understand what the scripture is saying. You're a child rubbish. Can I call somebody out? Lord God, you have to go home to share it out. You have to go home to dish it out. Because I cannot know how to do it. They are falling in a problem. That's why I will never go into a doctor's office. And I tell the doctor what about that dosage if you use when I pour out the medicine. I will never tell the doctor how much pills that they should use as a dosage. Am I talking to the church? What it is, Miss Stan and the and Chapel John, chapter 3, verse 16. Can I talk to the church? Tell somebody, Stan and the God, God, can I talk to someone? I'm understanding that one of the best ways that we can understand that you can reach anybody is through technology. Can I talk to somebody? The Bible said that the image was able to reach and shine in the entire earth. Look on me. If I'm this far, may they not have fire yet. May they not have power clear yet. Can I talk to the church? May they not get a visa yet. And do things that are over. May they not wear a trunk. Oh, I never give you one. Can I talk to somebody? But even though, me never go for that plane. Right now, me get Florida. Can I talk to the church? Right now, me get Michigan. Can I talk to the church? It's all technology. Can I talk to somebody? And so we understand that man's reach is able to go wide and far. And as a result of that, what they choose to do, they choose. They try to black the church. They talk to someone. They choose to try and stop the church. Men of here want to see a boy in their earth. Men of here want to see a boy in their understand everything that's happening is to destroy, to cripple the church. They talk to someone. Some people don't understand that the reason the murder is there. Yes, my men also did not great. Yes, men also did not great. Yes, men also climbed up by the street. But can I tell somebody, it is the church that is preventing things from getting worse. Can I talk to the church? The Bible said, in order to take a strong man's goods, then you have to first find the strong man. And so when you find the strong man, then you can take him goods. It is the Holy Ghost. Keep 
by force, be not a words. The enemy now beg you to come in and church. The now beg you to destroy your family. The now beg you to destroy your marriage. The now beg you to take for your job. The now beg you to be a pastor. The now beg you to be a corona. I walk into the church. Let me add this. Need a corona. 
direction. I'm too preaching. Tell somebody, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Tell somebody, the church will come out on top. Tell somebody, the church will be victorious. I'm not worried about earthquakes. I'm not worried about viruses. I'm not worried about tsunamis. Can I talk to the church? Because no job in mean, this world. Mm. As people tell us, uh, we still got the keys. Yeah. Can I talk to you? I said, no job in the earth. Yeah. And it's God permitted. The Bible said, He will not allow us to go through more. I know, I know, I know. Than he can be here. And the consolation is when things get to the point where the church can't be here anymore. Oh God, can I tell this? If I respond, they said they get a preview. The Lord Himself shall descend from them. Paul said, We shall not all see. No, we shall not all see. We shall not all see. But we shall be changed. In the moment, in the two come back, at the last strong. For the strong of God shall suffer, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. God is only giving us a preview. I cannot have to be church. Stop worrying yourself. This is only a preview of what is to come. Because let me tell you, some terrible things are coming. Let us talk to the church. And to those preachers who are preaching, I tell people, sir, at Revelation 13, I fulfill. The son of said, leave the Bible alone if you don't understand it. Praise God. Jesus said, when well, you see these signs, it is the beginning of sorrows. You have to know the sequence. Can I talk to the church? You have to know the sequence of things. So what the Lord is doing is giving us a preview of what is to come. Because if they can tell we know, say only 10 can gather. Oh, Y'all understand what I'm saying? There's coming a time when it might come to five, come to two, then it come to Because at least we have 
Both things are we believe in a higher power than us. But them who believe in a man here, man, I run up and down. And I said, they don't know what But I'm thankful to God that I've got a hope and this hope. They can just like a sheep. So today, as the singers get ready, we want to invite somebody to the Lord. I said it last week that the church is an essential service. Can I talk to somebody? Yeah. I believe I saw something in the newspaper. I'm not sure how true it is. But I, I believe I checked it out and I said it wasn't being at the start. If I'm wrong, go soon. Praise God. I know I can roll the time and can't sue nobody that I think we found one. So now that's what we talk. Can't talk to the church. Where the commission has said they will all keep bars open for police. So it can help to boost their morale. The heading said police are in high spirits. Pun intended. Bar on film boost their morale. So with all the stress of them I got you. You can go take a shot. And ease themselves. Better talk to the church. So if police can take a shot and the spirit. My God, nobody can tell me something if you get some holy ghost in my body. Better talk to the church. If bar come to provide the police, what God? All that is stop the church. I so today, somebody needs to make a change. Somebody needs to repent. I know when this I preach, the Holy Ghost left off of me. So that's how this not talk. But somebody needs to make a change. Somebody needs to turn to the Lord. Before this time changes to be turned Can I talk to somebody out there? Stop worrying. Stop fretting. Now is the time when the Holy Ghost is leading his church to his men and women of God. No man and woman of God, leaders, are run not high because, guess what? They don't know what to tell the church. Sir. Can I talk to the church? No prophet, you can't find it now. Because it's amazing you want to be small. I've always wondered. Jesus said in his word that I tell you these things before them happen. So that when it happens, you believe me. Yeah. So it is fair for us to say that Jesus was saying that if me not tell you and it happened, you might not believe me. It is amazing that with all the major disasters, our prophets have always have a word during but not before. My God, can I talk to the church? Something like you know that. I ain't no book of it. The false prophet there. A time to the church, weed out the fear. God see true worshipers who are worshiping in spirit and truth. Look by the time that we have a two, you don't realize that the prosperity message never did a work. Because no prosperity message can work that everything locked down. Those who didn't emphasize. From prophecy and healing. This is why in this church's ministry, I emphasize on the word of God. Men and women making it right with God. So it means that even when you catch a disease or a virus and you might not make it, you make your soul right. Hey! Somebody to me. Needs to make it right. If you're here, praise God. The Lord can visit you right now. The Lord can make a shift in your spirit right now. Now understand this. The Bible says, He that believe that is baptized shall be saved. So we are not going to tell you to lay your hands on the phone or the device and pray a sinner's prayer and you're saved. The Bible says, except a man be born of the water. Get out to the church. And of the spirit. If you want to baptize, I say you want to baptize in a seed, you will baptize in a seed. 
And if you want to baptize in a river, we baptize in a river. Come to the church. If it's only a bad pan, and you can hold it there, you can your water and fully merge you in the name of Jesus. But the church is still in the same business. Somebody needs to turn to you. Let's just have a little worship just before we close. Let's just have a little worship just before we close.
that would have caused them to be encouraged by the word today. That if they are in you, they will remain in you. And if they are not yet made you their choice, they will turn God nice to you before time turns to eternity. There are many who say, God, you're not hearing us. There are many who say, God, that you can't save us. But we stand firm in our faith. Now we can fight to the substance of being told God. They are the two things that see. You're the one who gave to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And you, God, we still here for your church. We pray, God, that somebody go to the rest of the day rejoicing. Hey! Go to the rest of the day empowered. We pray, God, for our nurses. Frontline workers, God, who every day they have to go and to battle. Oh, God, I bless it with this peace. Oh, we pray that you cover them and you protect them. We pray, God, that you will grant us peace. Grant us peace in the peace of the sun.
Praise God. Amen. So we have one who made a decision last week to return to the Lord. My life to my love to the church. So if there's anyone who would like to return, you can let him be known. And uh, we make the arrangements. Praise God to do so. As customary, we're going to be doing our benediction to those who is new to them. Praise God. Our tradition here is to raise the right hand and we say, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, and be that a tandem again with the yoke of bondage. Please greet somebody from a safe distance. In Jesus' name. See you, God's willing, on Tuesday night. As we be streaming again, praise God, our Tuesday manner Bible study. See you on that time. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen.